This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Lily Romero. Leave a comment down below if you have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. What's going on? It's Millie and friends. I'm the friend. Millie is a fiend. Very big difference. Doing, 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 doing. Earthquake, Millie, earthquake. That's right. The earth shall quake in the wake of FTRs on Monday. That's how great this show is, mate. All right, we're off topic again. This is peak FTR starter. I get a lot of comments being like, yo, the first few minutes of FTR, ain't nobody knows what's going on, including me. A just sweet je ne sais pas. That's my broken Canadian French. Hey, petit oiseau. Qu'est-ce que tu fais? <laughs> Maintenant. Allez ici, s'il vous plaît. Non, monsieur. Monsieur Wazo, pourquoi? Uh, je suis le head scratching slave, oh mon dieu. Without further ado, fish tank review. My fish were getting depressed. Okay, homies, we're about to witness the fish tank makeover of a century. Tree, tree. That's right, I make my own reverb. First of all, I just like to say this is starting off really well. You see the backdrop? Very natural. So I decided to give their tank a complete renovation. This is also really nice start to the video because as you can see, they care so much about their fish, the renovation of their fish tank, that they started filming their cat and their dog. That's how much you know they care about their fish. And look, what do you know? Two beautiful, Fancy goldfish. I would never have guessed this person was keeping goldfish. I thought maybe a tank of blue dream wow. shrimp, maybe a plants only planted tank, yeah, with some ram's horns. Wow, not in a million years would I have thought goldfish. Maybe a single betta fish, maybe a school of chili rasboras, because this tank is not big enough for two goldfish. Are you stupid? I don't think they liked the holdover bucket. You know what else they don't like? The tank, the size of the tank. Upgrade it or give it away and get better fish for that size. New rock, new background, everything clean and Scrubbed. Everything cleaned and scrubbed. We might have a problem here, folks. <laughs> scrubbed with what? Magic eraser? Mr. Clean? Dish detergent? Is this the makeover? Tell me this is not the makeover. Is this the before? I want to see the after right now. I love the part where they even scrub the substrate <laughs> because that's the most important part to scrub <laughs> just for beginners watching. Never ever clean your substrate. The only thing you should be doing to an established substrate bed is vacuuming it from time to time. Again, at the beginning of the video, they don't show the filter. So they took a perfectly fine established filter with beneficial bacteria colonies and did what? Scrubbed it? Millie, just end me. Just eat me right now. That's kind of sus. They have to wait for the water temp to equalize. Yes, uh, the most important tip I always give, wait for your water temperature to equalize. Whatever that means. You know, the temp will equalize itself. The great equalizer, death, is what these fish are running towards right now. Goldfish are not to temperamental. Grammar lessons. I guess the water temperature has equalized. The sucker fish is weird. She does this every single time, hides in that decor, and we always think she is stuck. Is that the sucker fish? Oh, hell no. Albino bristlenose? Female? For the algae, right? I mean, what's it gonna eat? There's no algae in this tank. It's scrubbed clean with scrub daddy. You know what I like to see for every video that's about a fish tank makeover? A cat and a dog being best friends. That's the most important part of every fish tank makeover. What do you think of? The first thing you think of when someone says fish tank makeover. That's right. A feline, a canine. It's good to know that they play all day. I was getting worried about to lose sleep over the fact that they might be only playing from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I think the cat just killed him. Overall, I give this fish tank makeover a 5 out of 5. This is the only possible score. Did you guys think this tank was lacking anything else? Maybe a hamster update? Yeah, okay. 4.9 out of 5. Quick pause, homies. I got to do a shout out for the sponsors of this episode. You guys for smashing that like button. Consider supporting on Patreon as well. You get some cool perks in return like a thousand plus fish keeping discord, the official fish for thought discord, and other perks as well. Thank you for your consideration. Ian sent in this tank. It's a 10 gallon CPD tank. Damn, I always like to see the bamboo shrimp, that is a cool betta. I can see the CPDs, they're growing pretty big and healthy. Love the oko stone and all the plantings through it. It's hard to get that moss nice and healthy embedded throughout the hardscape, but you did it perfectly, good job. Love the little stone pebbles and the white substrate. 4.6 out of five, keep it up. Now this is gold. They have increments of how big these fish get. This is genius. And from the look of it, this is probably PetSmart or Petco. I feel like every PetSmart or Petco needs this mandatory. Every fish tank there and every fish tank in any local fish store needs this max size indicator. That is immediate education for people looking to buy certain fish. And most people aren't evil. They're not going out of their way to choose a fish that's gonna outgrow their tank and then abuse it. They're just not in the know. But 
but this immediately lets them know. This is extra impressive to me because I think this is the kind of the first time that it's been done so well and so clear. And it's from PetSmart slash Petco, which is a bigger chain store. With proper space and care, goldfish can live 20 to 30 years. They even put the lifespan. Dude, never in my life did I think it was a possibility for PetSmart to be leading the charge. Whoever is managing this PetSmart, you need to get paid more. You need to be recognized. Get me in touch with this originator. You're telling me a gar? licked this bread? Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. The gar is licking the bread. Garlic bread. Uh -huh. Millie, what do you think about that? No. You don't like it? Okay. Five out of five pun for me. A Sinfair sent in this black water. 37 gallon. Lots of different bottom dollars. And a centerpiece Grammy. Beautiful woodscape. By far my favorite part. Some sparse plantings here and there keeping it pretty basic. Just like what a black water should be. Very realistic. Nice and dark and messy but clean backdrop. Nice sand substrate. 4.45 out of 5. Keep it up. This kitchen tank. Okay well I guess you're not shy about it. Don't tell me this is the actual aquascape. Honestly there might be something to this. Because, because it's like a theme escape, right? As long as everything's clean, not in a soapy way. Although, yes, it's very artificial and definitely not getting a high score if I was to rate it. Don't tell me there's anything living in it, though. There is! It's goldfish! They're next to the scrubbing sponge. No! Oh, I'm outy, bro. Dude, there's a clown pleco in there. Holy sh- That's actually pretty cool. That's actually a pretty cool fish in a very not cool scape. Some utensils fell in there, and before they took it out, they were like, huh. Feel like we're onto something. Zero baking skills out of five. One ticket for Avatar 2, please. Sir, this is an aquarium. One ticket, please. Love this part. <laughs> yeah, Avatar 2 did feel pretty up my alley, you know what I mean? Like the way of water pro. Biodiversity there, I feel like they did a really good job. Imagine having the power to bend sea anemone. Pablo Keeper 24 sent in this beautiful vivarium. Would you look at that? That is crazy. I don't know what's in here. Maybe some dart frogs, maybe some guppies down in the bottom. A little tight on the space for guppies, but if it's any fish, guppies would kill there. That is a 5 out of 5. Complete 5 out of 5 vivarium. Half land, half water feature. I'm a big sucker for that. Plants look super healthy. It's very humid, moist up in there. Black water, the sand, healthy tannins leaching in. Damn boy, that is intense. Keep up the great work. Looking at my tank, sweating. What if I told you in due time you'll be mopping the floor? It's inevitable. Red pill or blue pill, doesn't matter. You gonna be mopping that floor. I don't know no fish keeper that haven't mopped floors, like from just the mess of maintenance, right? Sure. Wait, wait, hold up. Ayo, hey, pod. What y'all talking about? Oh my. Oh. Oh. Uh. What? The more you look, the worse it gets. There's at least two, three more fish in there. There's like four, five at least. And I feel like they're all stuck on something at the same time. There's like a ribbon on the tail of this poor pleco. That's intense. Thank you for this gift, Millie. Oh man, this hoodie is messed up now. Millie, thank you so much. This tank is sending by first last. Wow, the floaters up top is just taking over the whole tank. We got some hair grass trying to carpet down the bottom. Sparse hardscape, maybe a snail. I don't see any other stocking. Maybe some shrimp, some guppy grass, hornwort. Pretty simple scape, husbandry on point. Oh, there's a lot of shrimp. I think this is a shrimp breeding tank. It would work perfectly for that. There's so many live plants. They're gonna thrive in here. 4.3 out of five for now, keep it up. It's got this tank for my betta. How do I put the water in? They're calling this a tank. Good thing it's from aquarium memes. They don't mean it. There are holes right there, dumbass. <laughs> Y'all are relentless. My two-year clown load next to an 11-year clown load. Holy crap. Bro, seen things, y'all. Look at the size disparity. That's crazy how fish can be so different in size when they're younger versus older. Always impresses me. Hello, sir. I am new to loaching. Could you please give me any pointers you may have? Not now, kid. I'm thinking about snails. Priorities, bro. Snails on my mind, mind on my snail. Maybe I'm a loach. My cousin's new fish. Yo, well, your cousin's new fish is gonna be their old fish very soon, unfortunately. Will it be stupid, sad? and funny if they pan over to their cousin as like a 40 year old man zero out of 40 bro finding every excuse to post my angel fish bro you don't need any excuse they are fabulous they are magnificent i've never seen this coloration or maybe i have but just never seen them thriving this hard for their colors to pop off this hard what is that called bro and they're gang gang up in here you know what i mean like they're sticking together four out of four angels right here and with that awesome picture welcome back to the end of this episode hope you guys enjoyed thank you for supporting all the way and it's time for 
Katwa. What is your favorite chips of all time? Mine, Lay's sour cream and onion. You know, that comes to mind. Ketchup chips, Lay's again. Miss Vicky's, mm, I'm salivating. I gotta get me some chips. What about you guys? See you in the comments below. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button. There'll be more videos to come. And don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot. Coming in hot, ventral fin dot, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rod. From Karis to form me, stupid retro road on. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Lit fam says, I finna one. I finna gone three days without fur. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence. Gang.